Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi and today we're gonna to take a look at the new Rouge Hermes lipsticks for spring summer 2023. I picked up all three of the shades. These are the shiny lipsticks or the Brillant. And we are going to take a look at swatches and lip swatches. Let's start off with the arm swatches right after we go over this packaging. So packaging is the same as with other Hermes lipsticks. You have the cardboard box with the orange pull through. And this is, this is a nice box. Inside you have the lipstick in a little canvas, you know, pouch. And then here it is. So the new lipsticks all have a striped design. So let's take a look at the three shades. Now all three of these are limited edition and they retail for 78 US dollars. First up, we have number six. This is Corail Parasol. And you can see that this one actually has some shimmer in it. So this one here has some sparkle. So these are intended to be light. You can see with one swipe here, you really get more of just a very soft peach with a, some shimmer in there. And then you can build this up. This is the one I have on my lips right now. And you can see you can build that up. It's gonna be pretty peachy. So according to Hermes, this is a fresh, subtle coral infused with light. I think it's a more peachy coral than a more pink toned coral. So actually all three of these shades are gonna lean fairly warm. So notice on this one, on the Corel Aqua, we have the stripes on the bottom, then the solid colors. Same thing with on the next one, shade number 10, but on the last one, our stripes are in the center instead. So just something to note there. And this one here is number 10, Beige Croissette. And the only one with shimmer is the first one. So this one does not have any actual shimmer particles, but you do see that there is plenty of light reflection here. And Hermes describes this as a warm and natural, subtle pink toned beige. That's pretty accurate. It's definitely gonna be a warm pink with some beige mixed in there. And then last up, we have shade 22, Brun Yachting. And this is gonna be our deepest. This one actually really makes me think more of fall, actually kind of like summer going into fall. And this is gonna be kind of like a warm brick brown. And according to Hermes, this is a light brown that warms the lips with a healthy glow. So let's take a look at lip swatches while we go over some product details. So all three of these lipsticks have the shiny finish. So this finish came out last year. It's kind of more of a very soft, sheer, glossy look on the lips. Very lightweight, almost more like a tinted lip balm. And you know, it's really comfortable. I actually did use one of these up last year, the shade that came out last year in uh, the lightest shade. I forget what that one was, but I did use that up. And according to Hermes, these give a veil of delicately tinted light on the lips. The seaside stripes on the cases are to evoke an invitation to escape. And just a few details, these are 2.8 grams of product each. They retail for 78 US dollars. So there has been a price increase on these. All three of these are limited edition. They're made in Italy. These are refillable. All Hermes lipsticks are refillable. However, you cannot purchase limited edition shades as a refill. You can use a limited edition case for any of the refills available in the permanent line. So just something to note there. And between the three of these, I think they are all really beautiful, you know, kind of that light glossy lip look when you don't want anything heavy on the lips. And they're very, very comfortable. So as you're looking at these three shades, you can see that all three of these really do run fairly warm. They all have kind of a peachy hue to them. And I really love though how number six, Corail Parasol, has that shimmer in there. I love this light peachy lip look. You can put it on very sheerly if you don't want any color. You can use this as a topper. And actually that's how I used up the lightest shade last year, which was a very pale beige shade, almost like a champagne color for your lips. And I used that mostly as a topper during the day to kind of refresh lipstick or even as a chapstick. So, uh, you know, I can see this color, you know, this is a little bit more pigmented than that one. I can see this one being very versatile. As you're looking at number 10, Beige Croissette, I think this is a really great warm toned everyday neutral. I can see myself wearing this one a lot 
For me though, when I think of summer, I don't really think of these tones so much. The peachy one, sure. Uh, this one really thinks, makes me think of just like every day. So, you know, not necessarily summer. I feel like it should be part of a permanent collection. And, you know, I really think for me, at least this year, I'm really gravitating more towards those brighter pops of color with more vibrant undertones, things with like fiery oranges and brighter magenta shades and so forth. So I'm not sure if everybody else is on that wavelength, but that's kind of what I'm thinking of. So for me, these shades are really pulling more end of summer, beginning of fall for me. So, uh, you know, I think though, my personal favorites would be these two, number six and 10. Moving on to shade 22, and this one is the Brun Yachting. This is gonna be a warm tone brown, and it is definitely more pigmented. I think this would be really great on deeper skin tones as a very pale, like barely there kind of shade. And I, again, for me though, with my complexion, it really just makes me think more of fall leaves, you know, because it does have more of that that warmer, dustier tone versus a brighter, warm tone hue. So uh, yeah, this one would have to be my least favorite of the three, which kind of surprised me. You know, I, I thought from the promo photos, I would, um, I thought this was gonna be a little bit cooler. So I was uh, really excited to see this, but it really is more of that orangey brick tone brown, which I love for fall, winter time. So let's take a look at two of the shiny lipsticks from last year's launch. And again, I did actually use up the lightest one, so I don't have that one here. But you know, if you use one up, don't forget to save the case so that you can put a refill in there. So I did save that. So this one here is 35 orange or orange uh, capucine. And let's just put this one right down here. And this is kind of more of I guess what I'm vibing with for summer. So it's kind of a brighter orange. There's a touch of pink in there. And I think it's just a really beautiful, vibrant, sheer orange. And then, all right, so this is the case that the light one came in from last year. I'm just going to kind of get as much on my arm as possible so you guys can see what it looks like. But unfortunately, I'm not gonna do that one live because there's really nothing left in here. All right, so this here is number five, Beige Doe. And that one came out last year. There is also a bright sheer pink one that I'm not sure where I put that one. It is probably in a handbag somewhere, so I can't find that one at the moment. But we also have the uh, Poppy Lip Shine. And this was really the first lip shine pro um, product from Hermes. And this is a permanent item and it always comes in this particular packaging here, and you can buy refills of this, and you can see that it's kind of this bright orange with shimmer. So you can see it's gonna be more orange, whereas the Corail Parasol, Parasol is going to be more peach. All right, and this is the last shiny lipstick from last year. I knew I had to have it somewhere. This is number 38, Rose Nymphaea, and I love this one. So it was actually out because I, it was one that I was using. I'm really into this pink shade notice. There is a faint touch of purple in there. So it is gonna be a cooler tone pink. So just so you can see how last year's compared to this year's shades. So I hope this was helpful. Just to go over these shades one more time, we have number six, Corail Parasol, number 10, Beige Croissette, and number 22, this one is Brun Yachting. So you can see that you can get a very sheer light finish or you can build it up for a little bit more pigmentation, but this is going to feel more like a tinted lip balm on the lips. And I would love to know your thoughts, which ones are your favorites. And thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful day.